the message of what a smart city is and what these types of initiatives is uh, is the challenge. You've, we've heard smart city is not a new term. Smart city's been around since uh, um, a long time, but there's there's never been a company as uniquely positioned to live to deliver on the smart city solution as we are. Although we may not have coined smart city, I believe we're uniquely positioned to deliver it. So you hear a lot of talk about it. You hear cities getting excited about the types of opportunities and the initiatives and the potential savings and efficiencies that this solution can, can bring. But when it gets time for rubber meeting the road, it, uh, um, it seems very difficult and impractical to develop and deploy and execute upon that. So there's a lot of there's a lot of skepticism about the adoption of these types of initiatives, and quite honestly, when you're dealing with um, silos, you'll have silo players coming in saying, "Oh well, we can give you all the information you need in order to analyze and understand your building assets." Um, you don't really need to consolidate all of this into a into yeah. a common platform. I mean, that's an argument, and that's a fair argument. But uh, the adoption of that is comes through our message and our vision to say, you're right, you probably don't need to, uh, but here's why you should. And then you refer to the business use cases of, well, what about the fire hydrant that's offline? Or what about the emergency systems? Or what about that information to help you manage your energy consumption and your resources in a more sustainable way to grow your city? You can't, it's impractical to try to bridge information from one silo to another silo using a phone call and a piece of paper and an Excel spreadsheet. It's not practical and you're not going to gain efficiencies from that. So the easier it is for us to, to unify the silos and give our, our, our end users, our customers, an easy to use interface dashboard, they have everything at their finger pit, fin fingertips based on their roles, um, they're going to understand um, and leverage our, our solutions, and that's that's our vision. Yeah, because they are governmental uh, organizations that uh, they used to work in this direction for the last uh, 50 or 100 years. That means that it's a big challenge to change their mind in this direction, to have the, the, the holistic picture about uh, their new, the city or the infrastructure in general. And this is difficult, really difficult, because th there are several interests inside of the organizations, and sometimes it's difficult for the people to try to, to, to to share these this, uh, this needs uh, between different departments with different budgets uh, that sometimes are fighting for the same, yeah. same euro or dollar. Uh, and they, they want to, to have the control, and etc. Et this is difficult. For instance, in, in Barcelona, there are several organizations, independent organizations, with different uh, solutions uh, that they are controlling their infrastructures in a holistic way. That means trains, water, the city, but now the city realized that also they have interest to see what is going on in the airport and what is going on in the water organization. And this, this means that they want to, to go there, that sometimes are even independent companies, and they want this information. But the other companies are not so happy. Eh? And it's, a, it's a, an important challenge, an important way to, to change the mind and to change the way that we did business in the last years. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's a challenge. So the, Sometimes it's easy to find people that they have this vision, okay? This vision of how can I get because they, they they have the pain in their or in the daily uh, business. But how can we help them also to to change to change all these organizations, all the contractual uh, way they have to contract systems and to get information? I think that's that's the big challenge.